Hi, uh, this is Shabit Uganda Ilani, and uh, we are going to make a continuation of uh, our recent video on measurements. And uh, here we are able to explain uh, what measurements is, and that means we shall be dealing with the length, uh, where we talked about uh, that when dealing with the length, uh, we are uh, meaning a uh, distance uh, between the points or between the places. And we are able to explain that when we are dealing with measurements, uh, we shall automatically deal with what you call meters, uh, where the SI unit of meters is M, and we shall be dealing with centimeters, and the SI unit or the abbreviation of it is uh, CM, and uh, <coughs> the kilometers itself, uh, which is uh, the KM, okay? So, in this video, purpose we shall be dealing with, uh, shall be dealing with, with uh, subtraction, uh, subtraction of meters and what and centimeters. Uh, we shall be using the same concept uh, that we are using as uh, the addition, where we say uh, this is not so hard, we just only uh, make uh, some addition in our normal way okay so let's get started uh, let's get started i remember now here we are going to make some subtraction of this uh, we have been given some examples here like our example one uh, we are saying uh, when given uh, these values uh, the centimeters uh, the meters and the centimeters be able to arrange them in their uh, proper way uh, as you may see here, mine may not be arranged very well, uh, but uh, yours should be arranged very well. Okay, so uh, let's make some operation of this subtraction, and we shall be able to come up with the what, with the right answer. So here we had uh, uh, we had our six meters, our six meters, and our uh, eight centimeters. 80 what? 80 centimeters. 80 centimeters. And then uh, we are also having our two what? Our two meters. Our two what? Our two meters and our 60 centimeters. Okay. So be able to arrange them in this form. Uh, for you to be neat and for you to be uh, for you to be smart. So in this, uh, we shall be able to perform our normal what our normal uh, calculation, uh, where when you say zero and a zero, uh, remember we are trying to subtract uh, zero and a zero. We shall be able to get our zero. Uh, then a uh, eight from uh, six we shall be able to get our two and then we shall be able to get uh, the difference of six meters and two meters i shall be able to get our four meters okay but here we have to have to ensure that uh, the values that we have got are having uh, they are correct what they are correct unit if they are centimeters uh, they should be centimeters because when you leave out uh, <coughs> uh, these units, uh, they mean something else. So you may lose uh, a mark uh, for that. So we also add uh, this side. Uh, we shall be having our 24, 24 what? 24, 24 centimeters and 30 centimeters. Uh, then also here we have uh, half nine centimeters and uh, five centimeters. Uh, here you can see we have 24 and 34. Uh, automatically, this one becomes impossible, but what you have to do is to uh, borrow one, one from here. When you borrow one from here, then you shall be able to uh, increase this and make some addition. Okay, so here we can say our 4 uh, minus 0, we shall be able to get a 4. Then our 2 minus 3, it is impossible. So I say uh, you can be able to borrow 1 from here 
And after borrowing one from here, this is automatically going to be 12. Uh, so when you say 12 minus uh, 3, our answer shall be what? Shall be a 9. Okay, so uh, when our answer is a 9, that means we shall be able to get we shall be able to get uh, our answer 3 meters uh, <coughs> we shall be able to get uh, a 9 and also here because we got a 1 from 9 we shall be remaining with 8 so 8 minus 5 we shall be able to get our 3 which is uh, the answers you write meters also here centimeters for them to be able to see that these were centimeters and these were meters okay let's move ahead and see uh, how we subtract this in a word statement i said when talk about word problem or word statement that's when they give you statements that are in words but they want you to perform uh, or read the text or read the question and you can be able to understand what exactly does it need subtraction does it need uh, multiplication does it need addition so let's see how do you understand that this really needs uh, subtraction okay an example here is our team had a ribbon me measuring measuring 15 meters 36 centimeters he cut off 9 meters 12 uh, 21 centimeters what length did he remain with Remember, he had uh, the total uh, measuring of 15 meters and 36 centimeters. Then if he cut off, that means when he cut off, he's like he's reducing it. Okay, so what length uh, was remained? So we can see the length which was remained. Uh, you have to be knowing the total what? The total that he had, which is the 15 meters and the 36 centimeters. And also the one which was cut off, which was removed. Uh, which is 9 and 21. So that means uh, here we shall be able to uh, make operation and see subtraction. We subtract a 6 from 1, we get 5. Uh, 3 from 2, we get 1. And uh, 15 minus 9, we get 6. Okay, so we can see that we are using the same what? The same operation of subtraction. But what you have to understand is to arrange them according to the order centimeters to their centimeters and the meters to meters uh, also let's look at another question here we are having a single uh, had a string measuring 25 meters and 15 okay these are meters and these are also meters you cut off uh, this you cut off uh, 18 meters and 36 centimeters what length of, of the string did, her, did he remain with uh, so uh, we are arranging this also uh, in meters and centimeters. You can see they made some uh, uh, error here. Uh, these were supposed to be centimeters. These were supposed to be centimeters. Uh, so uh, in arranging this, uh, we say you have to uh, first identify uh, the total measurement that he had and the measurement that was cut off from uh, the total measurement. So here we can be able to say uh, his string measured was 25. Arrange them in meters and also arrange them in centimeters. So uh, in making the, the subtraction of this, uh, the centimeters should be subtracted from the centimeters and the meters from the meters for you to get uh, or to get to drive uh, a right to come up with the right answer. So now let's make this operation. When we say a 5 minus a 5, we get a 0. Uh, then uh, when you say 1 minus 3, it is impossible. Uh, of course, you have to come and uh, borrow, uh, borrow from this, the 25 meters, uh, which is going to remain with, this is going to be uh, 24. If I have borrowed 1, then uh, we shall be able to come up with uh, 11. Okay, uh, these are going to be 11. Uh, so when we, when we make some operation and uh, subtract, we shall be able to come up with uh, uh, 8. And then here, we shall be able to come up with 6. Okay, so you can see that when you make, uh, when you arrange them and subtract them accordingly, we shall be able to come up with the what? With the right answer.
So purpose three, that's how uh, we do deal with uh, subtraction, uh, subtraction of uh, meters and centimeters. It's not take you very hard. Please be able to see and watch out uh, these videos uh, uh, time and the time to get the concept. So for this, uh, let me say thank you very much uh, for watching this channel. Uh, please be able to check out on our playlist for the mystery lessons and uh, subscribe to get more upcoming what lessons for all the subjects. God bless you. Have a nice moment.